And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Today we're talking about a game called Trigger. Trigger is a game of speed to see if someone is telling the truth or telling a lie. You put out your uh, right hand if you're telling the truth, left hand if you're telling a lie. Actually, you're hitting the table as fast as you can. That's not the first time a game has done that, of course, but it might be the first time a game has done that in, in conjunction with truth telling. Well, we'll see. It's an interesting little card game. Let's take a closer look. A trigger pad is placed in the middle of the board. Now, this is kind of a, a foamish pad. Uh, I guess it's there for some cushioning because everyone's going to be hitting it with their hands. Of course, they tell you to take off any heavy rings you might be wearing. Then a deck of trigger cards is dealt to everybody. Now, if you'll notice, these trigger cards have different colored backings. That doesn't really matter that much uh, for, you know, oh, I know what's on the other side of the card, but it does matter for gameplay purposes. Each player is going to have five of these cards placed in front of them. One person is going to take their card and they're going to read one of the questions on it. Players are going to listen to the questions and then they're going to hit the pad with their left hand if it's false and with their right hand if it's correct. Right is right, left is wrong. Now this is where you'll find a majority of the mistakes of the game are made because uh, with younger people, you the, they don't know what's right and left or even with a lot of us older people, remember, L makes left. But even so, you still can get awfully confused. The first person to put their hand down on the pile of hands who is correct is going to win that card and place it underneath their cards. The first person who puts the wrong answer down, the incorrect answer down, will lose one of their cards from the game itself. Now, the next person is going to read a card from their, a question from their card that matches the color of the card just one. So for example, if someone had just played a gray card previous to me, I would read the gray question here. Well, let's take a closer look at some of these questions. You notice the first one says, my eyebrows are plucked. If I would read that question, then everyone at the table has to say, okay, Tom Vassell, are his eyebrows plucked? True or false? Hint, answer is false. However, if you look at the second question, it says, you have something in your mouth. That would be everybody else. So if someone else read this, I would sit there and think, do I, Tom Vassell, have something in my mouth? I happen to be chewing on gum at the time or whatever, so it's true. Although there are some questions like, blue is made of mixing green and yellow. And if you notice, there's a little false symbol there for people who would like to argue and say, well, technically. Okay. So there's a lot of different things and some of the questions, you know, determined. There are several stories in the building we are playing in. So the, these are an example of the kinds of questions here. There's nothing that's awfully odd or risque. You know, they're just typical questions. Also, some of them could be pretty funny. Um... But they're a lot of fun, and as soon as somebody runs out of cards, the game is over, and the person who has the most cards is the winner. Trigger! Now, I've tried it with adults, I've tried it with kids. Uh, with kids, they're having a hard time figuring out with which hand is right and left. With adults, they're having a hard time figuring out which hand is right and left. I mean, even when you have it figured out, I mean, most people know the right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. But then you're like, right is right, left is wrong, right is right, left is wrong, left is right, right is long. What? and you forget and you're just slamming a hand out as fast as you can. Now, that makes for some hilarious things and the person who did the questions on the cards here did a fantastic job. I'm very impressed with that. I like the game. I wish the whole right and left hand fast mechanic, that's, I'm not so keen on, but I whole like the whole idea, are you lying or not, quickly decide, lie, not. And then everyone laughs at the person who gets it wrong or, and, and, or the person who came in second place just by a hair. So that's what I think. Let's see what the kids think. Do you like Trigger? I like it because it, it's really fun. <laughs> okay. Do you, you like hitting your hands on the table? All right. Amy, what thinkest thou? I think it's nice because when I play, I always get mixed up with my hands. I'm like, even though my dad writes a T on this. <laughs> No. That's true. I wrote a, a T on their hands for truth <laughs> so that they remember which one to stick out. But I still forget. All right. But you still like the game? Mm -hmm. All right. Melody, what do you think? 
I really like the game. It's really funny, and I also forget which hand. Like, I can tell from my left and right, it's just that. Which one's true? Which one's right again? <laughs> right is right. Oh, yeah. And left is false. Well, there you have it, folks. If you're looking for a chaotic, silly party game, then I think Trigger is for you, and it works with uh, pretty much all ages. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.